Hello, my, my name is Randy. Uh, today I wanted to talk just a little bit about my vocation uh, to the priesthood. I, I can say that my vocation uh, to the priesthood was inspired by my grandmother who taught me the Catholic faith with her love and, and devotion to, to Jesus and to Mary and to the Eucharist. Uh, created me a heart, a, a fervent heart, uh, full of the love of full of the love of Jesus Christ uh, and for His Church. So since I was a four, since I was four years old, I wanted to be a priest. I went to a to Catholic schools back in Guatemala, and I grew up going to Catholic schools in Guatemala for uh, for my when I was in middle school and. And I was surrounded by holy priests, and I wanted to be like them. I used to tell my grandmother that I wanted to be like my with like the priests that were surrounded. I was surrounded by. I wanted to be like them, uh, so uh, full of the of the love for Jesus Christ and His people. I wanted to be like them, full of the love uh, for His people and His church. I came to the United States when I was 10 years old uh, and I started practicing my faith when I was here in the United States and when I was like around 14 years old I went back to the I went back to church for the first time I went to mass in the United States and I felt I felt in love again with Jesus a little by little I stay. I start going by myself, going to mass every Sunday, and then I before going to to school. I before going to to school, I used to go to mass, to daily mass, especially on Fridays and Wednesdays. So that's how I started gaining again the the attraction to the priesthood. After high school, I graduated from high school in two thousand eighteen, and I I was. I ready to come into the seminary after high school, but um, I faced some challenges, some financial problems, uh, and I decided to to take like two years off and to work, um, to work uh, and gain and make just a little bit of money and, and just a little bit of money. Um, I was working in LAX in the international airport right here um, uh, for two years as a supervisor, uh, operation supervisor. I was really happy. Uh, I was um, mm, I was feeling happy and I was making a lot of money. Uh, I thought that that was uh, being a supervisor was going to be my, my, my vocation, my career. But then I, I encountered with this, this quote from Pope Benedict XVI that said that we are as Catholics, we are created for greatness and our vocations and we, our vocation is for greatness. So that quote for, that quote from Pope Benedict XVI, uh, my heart was full of fire. So I was like, yes, I'm, I'm called for something greater. So that's in 2021. In, 2000, in 2021, I I decided to to apply for the seminary again, and that was the best decision that I ever could take. I uh, I entered. I came to the seminary in last summer of 2021, and and I have been. I have been so happy. It has been my. It has been the best decision that I could ever take. Yes, it was so difficult for me to leave everything behind, to live my comfortable life, making money, feeling happy. Uh, but now I'm, I'm, I'm discerning what Jesus wants from me. I'm not sure if he wants me to be a priest, but I'm sure that he calls me for something greater. And in anything that he wants me to serve, uh, to, to to do, I, I know that he wants he wants for me to be holy and to be uh, and to serve his church, either as a 
as a uh, as a husband or as a priest. So, um, how can I summarize everything? Is that uh, to trust Jesus is not the best. It is not. It cannot be the easiest way. It is. It is not the easiest um, thing to do to trust God, but. It's for certain that if we trust Jesus, everything is going to be fine. He's never going to abandon us. Um, and he's, he's waiting for our love. He's waiting for a response. He is waiting for a response to holiness and for greatness. And as um, Mother Angelica used to say, uh, we all call to be great saints. Don't miss the opportunity. The response to... Let, let us respond in whatever God calls us, whatever response to our call to holiness. That, that is our, face, our first vocation, holiness. Thank you.